Hello everyone, welcome to another video on Obsidian. In this video, I'll show you how you can create progress bar that looks something like this. You can use these progress bars to track that anything that you want. Maybe it's your goals, it's your projects or even books that you are reading. So let's begin our tutorial without any delay. We'll be using two methods and before we dive into our first method, we'll need to uh, copy this metadata called bar. I will provide the link to this article in the description so that you can directly go there and copy this and copy this code metadata code bar copy it and if you are going to track something that you have already have then you can paste this code in the front matter metadata in the front matter if not you can just create a new note let's say it's a progress bar for, for our tutorial purpose and I will add a front matter section here and I'll paste the code and I'll in the front matter here now we have this note called let's write something experimental note now we have added a metadata for progress bar now we will need to use data view plugin if you have not already installed you can always uh, go to Comte plugins click on browse and install data view from here I think you have already installed it if you are using obsidian for a few months now because data view is the most powerful plugin right now on obsidian once you have installed data view plugin go to its options and enable all these three options that are on the top of this general settings enable javascript queries enable inline javascript queries and enable inline field highlighting now let's create a new node where we will display these progress bars so let's just write a data view uh, for this note name and we will use data view here start with three back ticks i write data view table these progress bars can only be displayed when you are using data view plugin for table format from we have added this metadata to our progress bar file so we will extract the data from progress bar file progress bar i think i'm writing the name correct here P -R -O -G -R -E -S -S bar yes and we will add here bar metadata is dis displayed as progress here and if we go into preview mode oh i'm sorry i wrote here bar is i should write bar as progress so if you go into preview mode it will show the tracker or the progress bar in your table right now we have zero percent here and there is no change in this tracking we'll go to progress bar and it is the metadata where max is the maximum value let's say we write here 35 and we also need to calculate the percentage when we are, when we are using this method to create visual uh, visual progress bar so i'll just write 35 percentage and if we go back you can see here we now have 35 percentage shown in shown visually in this table now this is the first method of displaying progress bar in your obsidian where you have to manually calculate the percentage and write it here now in the second method you don't need to do that but uh, there's something you need to do that is to add a javascript file in your obsidian vault now let's go to our second method so let's begin the tutorial for our second method for that you will need to go to your vault location and create a new javascript file we'll be using visual code studio for that copy this code uh, from the link in the description i'll provide the link in the description and you can go there and copy all of this and paste it in the visual code studio and create this and save it as view the name of this file should be view and it is a javascript file so it is js and once you have created this you need to add this to your obsidian vault and once you have added this to your obsidian vault then you need to add metadata to your file the metadata should be progress and target so i'll just write here progress let's say progress is 55 and and let's write target is 178 for example now again from the link of the article in the description copy the code for this bar that will be placed below the front matter section copy this and paste it below the front matter section here We'll just use it here this is also metadata but it is not in the front matter section remember that 
and we'll need to rename this file name we'll copy the file name from here and paste it here now if we go into preview mode it will display something like this the progress bar is displayed in the note, it's, note itself and we can also use this we, we can also use data view to extract this progress bar so let's go to our data view that we created previously here is the progress bar extracted using data view it's 25 percent completed we don't need to calculate the percentage uh, if we use this method of adding a javascript file to our work and then adding progress and target metadata in our front matter sections and then adding this code data view code under the front matter section in our file you can use this method to track different things like I have uh, for example in my case I have used uh, progress bars to track my goals here and the books that I am reading for example here is the progress for books that I am currently reading 35% 25% completed progress bars can be helpful for visualizing your progress and give you some sort of boost to complete the project or whatever you are working on so thank you for watching this video and if you found this video helpful please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I also have a newsletter that I will be using in the future to uh, send you some cool stuff about Obsidian and personal knowledge man management and if you are new to Obsidian you can definitely download the starter vault from the link in the description which contains some of my notes and my implementation of Jadocasting system and some other uh, workflows. Thank you have a great day.